Let's talk about uh, this return of 25 billion hidden in old banknotes. And you know, the, the, the D Day is almost here. It was mm. October the 1st or the 31st? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the October 1st. First, yes. yes. So the D Day is almost September. here. So, government <laughs> order on new currency during Madaraka Day celebrations has seen billions outside the banking system resurface in the month of June alone. Details of this story on page four. Are no, we I mean, to see I, even more? That was I, just bound to happen. Definitely, and mm -hmm. I would have expected the standard to go further, and that this is where we, uh, journalism fails, okay. to be able to give us more information mm. on who are these people, if who? they have the names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, from which sectors? Mm -hmm. Because we cannot just throw a figure of 25 billion, yes. not knowing whether it was money that was returned legitimately, mm -hmm. or money in the, mo in the, in the process of transactions, mm. yeah. people have returned all notes, or it's money that was being hidden in homes yeah. that has been... That is a return to the banks uh -huh. in exchange for the new notes. We need that information. But again then, we knew that this was bound, bound to happen. To happen right. We've lost so much through corruption in the counties and the national government. Uh -huh. And the moment the central bank, 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 bank became very strict right. on how it was handling uh, banking processes, people opted to keep the money in their houses. Uh -huh. So knowing that you are keeping old notes and they may not help you after the 1st of October, uh -huh. it was bound to happen that people were to return this money. Yeah. And surprisingly enough, not surprisingly enough, 25 billion has gone back and probably more that we're not being that told. Will not be told. Yeah. Yes, all right. Of course, interesting, as they would put it. Uh, we'll wait to see what will yeah. play out uh, during this time, you know, as we are ed uh, headed towards the end of August yes. and, you know, September equally. So much is going to happen as to this. So we can only wait to see whether indeed uh, it's going to bring about also the individuals that we're looking for. Because remember, when this declaration was made, of course, there was that talk of, us, uh, you know, very many people who've stashed and most of politicians who've stashed money with, you know, in a very own homes and of course there were likelihoods that then they're going to face it rough so we can only wait to see whether indeed people are going to be named on no, the, funny, the, the funny thing uh -huh. is eh, 25 billion shillings has been returned but we've not seen anyone being arrested yeah and prosecuted right for because you could have expected that if Who you have this person? one yeah, billion that, that shillings and it's in their the, very own exactly homes, yes you would have heard of arrests mm. so we've not seen that yeah so in 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 effect we've not benefited from the higher intentions yeah. of having the money returned. Yeah. Because the 25 billion probably has been returned, mm -hmm. banked, or new currencies issued. So it's a zero sum. We are, left, we are actually left where we were three or four months ago.